So continuing to address more questions here for USMLE, Salar Sarwar Khan asks via Telegram group, hey Mike, what's a good versus bad percentage correct for the clinical mastery series forms for 2CK and does it change with the newer forms? This is not going to be an overly lengthy clip. I can give you a concise answer on this. Before we get started, allow me to be my frequent asshole, tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help bring awareness to this channel. Share with one of your friends who's prepping for USMLE. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find us on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question, which was, Mike, what's a good versus bad percentage correct for the clinical mastery series forms for 2CK and does it change with newer forms? Look, clinical mastery series forms, they have a weird score analysis profile where they will give you, they're only 50 question forms, right? They will give you a score of 20, which is completely arbitrary. It doesn't relate to number of questions at all. I'm just saying in the score reports on the clinical mastery series forms online, they will give you a score of 20 as the average with a plus or minus three as your standard deviation, okay? So if a student, let's say, gets a 24 on one of the forms, that's like really good, okay? And that might equate to maybe uh, between maybe six to eight wrong. I'm just giving a, a hypothetical here. Um, you want to pretty much be getting no more than 10 to 15 questions wrong tops on those clinical mastery series forms in order to score average, okay? Now, I say clinical mastery series are a little bit weird in that the the scaling is not quite the same as when we talk about the step one NBMEs, okay? I've made another clip talking about uh, how for the step one NBMEs, the scales are extremely steep, okay? You can get very few questions wrong and then your score is gonna drop precipitously. But when we talk about the clinical mastery series, you can get quite a few wrong and score pretty decently. Okay, so I would say uh, no more than 10 to 15 questions wrong per form. You should try to get up above 10 questions wrong per 50 question form. Just review those questions assiduously as you would the NBME exams, okay? The, the material is all the same. As you already know from some of my other clips, you need to memorize the clinical master series forms as well as NBMEs 6 through 11. Obviously, 9, 10, 11 are coming online soon at the end of this month, but you need to memorize uh, all of those questions, okay? And you say, does it change with newer forms? The scales actually do change depending on the form you sit. I am not an AI where I know exactly which form has how many questions wrong relating to your score, okay? But I can tell you that, for example, when I sat NBME 7 for 2CK, I got more questions wrong on that form and I got a higher score than I did on forms 4 and 6, okay? That's one example. And that also translates over into the Clinical Mastery Series forms, okay? So we don't know the exact scales, but when you ask about the Mastery Series, no more than 10-ish questions wrong you should be shooting for per 50 question form, okay? This was a highly specific question, okay, that I'm addressing here. I wanna provide you guys some broader value as well. So drop some questions down below in the comments uh, if you have them, and I will address them in future clips, okay? If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.